short vid on the plow I use to plow snow with. Just your basic PVC with the strip in the front, a couple screws holding it down, hinge, aluminum just to hold it against the PVC, nothing big. Over here I just have this guy holding it so this way it doesn't cock and get this bungee cord all goofed up. Bungee cords are this way when it pulls down or if I get caught on something, you know what I mean? I'm not killing this guy up here. Standard uh, Samsung goofy edger for your surround sound. And back here, I just took a normal house barn hinge, whatever, because I had the best, pla best place to make the base. On the bottom of the screw, I have one of those counter sunks, but it's backed off like you know, halfway, so at least I get some kind of kick out of it. So it, does, it moves enough. Over here is just heavy bolts. I'm going to get shorter ones. This guy used to be longer when I had the big Kongs on it, and just tried pushing it that way, but again, the Kongs are the right tires to be pushing on plot axis. Again, same strip from over here. I bent it up into a like a channel. It's got a slight bend. They look better when you're actually next to each other. I mean, I just welded them on there, but flux, flux core wiring stinks. But the cool part about the whole thing... There you go. I took two sockets, welded them onto a plate. And then this way I took the bits, welded them onto the rod, so this way I can unhitch it and hitch it. Strongest point needed, you know what I mean? I'm not worried about breaking it. I mean, th those walls are gonna hold. The only thing I could do is maybe if I do 30 miles an hour or something, then hit it, you know what I mean? But if I'm going slow and pushing snow on it, I shouldn't snap them. But that's my basic plow that does all the work around the house. Make it look better, yeah, but it does what it has to do, and it's all you needed. And I was gonna put a couple cameras on there and enjoy the ride. Thanks, guys. Talk to you in a bit.